Welcome reception learners to lesson number 45. My name is Lee and this is my friend Baby Bear and we will be doing some learning with you today. If you joined us for our last lesson, we followed directions to get Frog back all the way to her log. We use lots of positional movement and language and you may have made your very own map at home and recorded it. How did you go? Our learning intention for today's lesson is to practice following and giving simple directions. Our positional language that we'll be focusing on today is inside, on top, behind, next to, in front and between. Hi baby bear, today we are learning about following and giving directions. Do you know the difference between giving directions and following directions? Have a think about it. What might the difference be? I wonder if you know. When I follow a direction, I am listening and then responding to the information when I get it. When I give a direction, I am giving someone information for them to follow. Do you know what? Let's play a quick game and we can show you the difference between giving and following directions. Baby Bear has got some directions here and I'm going to follow them. We're going to play the squiggle game. It's lots of fun. You might want to join in at home. You just need a piece of paper and something to write with and then listen and follow to the instructions that Baby Bear is going to give us. We will then put them on our piece of paper and then at the very end we can quickly turn all of our squiggles into our very own masterpiece. Are you ready? I am. Are you ready Baby Bear? Baby Bear has the instructions in his lap. I've got my marker here. I'm going to write my name at the top. E. Lee, that's my name. Okay, baby bear, are you ready to give me an instruction? I'm ready to follow. First instruction. Number one, draw a long line going from the top of the page almost to the bottom. Okay, the top almost to the bottom. First one. Let's go to the second instruction. Number two, put another line next to the line, make it exactly the same. I need to follow that. Another line next to this line and make it almost exactly the same. Hmm, that's almost exactly the same. How are you going at home? Let's get the next direction. Number three, draw a circular shape inside the two lines. Okay, circular shape inside the two lines. Two lines inside, circular shape. Hmm. I'm pretty happy with that. Next one, number four. Draw three stars of different sizes on top of the page. Three stars, different sizes on top of the page. This is on top. Here's one star. I might do a little star because that's a different size. And another one here. One, two, three. On top of the page, different sizes. Good instructions. Last one is draw a squiggly line at the bottom of the page. A squiggly line at the bottom. 
Okay. There we go. I've followed all of the directions that Baby Bear has given me. And now this is where the fun begins. We've got lots of objects placed on our page, but they're just squiggles. But now this is where we get to have some fun. We get to turn this into a masterpiece. You can make it anything you like. I'm gonna have a go, you have a go too. All right, so at the top, I'm going to, hmm, I think I might draw a triangle shape at the very top. Hmm, I like that. And I might add another circular shape below the one on top. I'm gonna close this up and I might add the one, two rectangles at the bottom and I'm going to do lots more squiggly lines and maybe a few more stars on the side next to my rocket. I wonder what masterpiece you created. Do you like my masterpiece, baby bear? I'm pretty proud of it. I hope you're proud of yours too. Baby Bear and I just came back from collecting the mail from outside from our letterbox. I always feel so happy when I see that there's an envelope inside a letter for us. I am wondering what's inside and who it's from. Let's take a look and see. I'm going to read these words here. It says, to Lee, that's me, and Baby Bear. And then underneath, there's some information, some more words. It says, One School Road, Schoolsville. That's our address. That actually gives our postie information and directions for where to send the letter to make sure that Baby Bear and I get it. I wonder what's on the back of the envelope. Let's flip it over and have a look. It says on the back, Sender frog. It's from our friend Frog. How exciting. I wonder what's inside. Should we open it up and have a look? I'm excited. Ooh. Feels like there's lots of stuff in here. Let's take a Oh, there's a letter. Oh, there's a letter. And there's lots of bits. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Let's make sure we get everything from inside the envelope. Oh! Make sure it's all, oh, make sure it's all out. Good job, we'll put that in front of you there, baby bear. Let's put all of these here and let's read what the letter says. It says, Dear Lee and baby bear, Hello! Thank you for helping when I was lost the other day. You helped me follow directions and helped me find my way back home to my log. We did that, do you remember? I made you this picture out of shapes, but I had a problem. The glue I used wasn't sticky, so all the shapes fell off the page and now my shape picture is all jumbled up. I have given directions for you to follow. I hope your glue sticks better than mine. Thank you for being such kind friends. From your friend, Frog. Isn't that kind of Frog to say thank you to us and give us a beautiful shape picture? It is a bit sad that Frog put lots of effort into the picture and then the glue didn't stick so it got all jumbled up. But it's okay because Baby Bear and I and you at home are really great at following directions. So I think that the directions that Frog has given us will be easy enough for us to follow so we can make sure the picture is just as Frog 
wanted it to be. Okay, are we ready? There's lots of different shapes I can see here. I'm going to put them all on the side. Oh, if I can pick them up. All right. And we're going to see. So make sure that we've got everything. Hang on. Do you know, I just noticed in here there was one last shape. It caught my eye. I'll pop that back there. Okay, are we ready? The first direction is first glue the purple square at the bottom of the page. Hmm. So I think I need some glue. Open up my glue stick and I have to find the purple square. I can see purple and it's a square shape. Now where did I need to do it? At the bottom of the page. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of glue around the edges. Good job. All right, it says to put it at the bottom of the page. All done. Next direction. Glue the round shape at the top of the page. So I need to find a round shape, a round shape to put it at the top of the page. I wonder, oh, can you see a round shape here? I can. It's the yellow round shape. So we're going to put some glue on that and we're going to stick that. Let's read it again. Let's find out where at the top of the page. I might put it there and press it down so it sticks, so it doesn't come off like frogs. Okay, next direction. Take the green rectangle, green rectangle, and stick it, let's see where, in the center of the purple square, right? Center of the purple square. Oh, there's a bit more information touching the bottom. Okay, I better get some glue on it. It won't stick, it won't attach if I don't have glue on it. So I've got to put it in the center, but it's got to be touching the bottom. So far, so good. Next direction, glue the two blue squares and put them next to the green rectangle, one each side. Okay, so let's get some glue on. There's one with glue and two with glue. Let's go back and read this again. It says, Put them next to the green rectangle, one each side. Okay, there's one this side and one this side. Then next to the green rectangle. Hmm. Next, you need to paste the green tree next to the purple square. Okay, so I need to get the green tree shape Got that one here, and I need to place that one next to the purple square. And let's see, look, it's now in front of the purple square. Okay, Ooh, we've got a few other shapes left. I wonder if you know what this picture might be. Hmm. Any ideas? Let's see. Let's go to the next direction. Take the orange triangle and glue it on top of the purple square. Okay. Sure, frog. We can do that. Paste it on top of the purple square. There it is. Push it down nice and hard. Great. Oh, 
Are you getting an idea what this might be? I am. What about you, baby bear? Yes, I think we've got an idea. There's one last object to, to stick on. It says, lastly, which means it's the last direction, lastly, you need to paste the girl inside the door. Okay, let's do that. Put it like she's inside the door. All right, wow. Take a look at our picture. Take a look at that baby bear. Frog's beautiful shape picture that Frog created for us that got all jumbled up and, and then we had to re-stick and follow all the directions. But look at now, it's beautiful. So we have a beautiful picture of a house with a tree in front, a sun on top, and the girl inside. It's a beautiful picture. Thank you so much, Frog. It was very kind. That was fun giving and following directions. You might want to create a picture on your paper using positional and movement language as well. Have a go. In this lesson, we used our knowledge of positional and movement language to create a picture. We also created a great squiggly picture as well using directions that Baby Bear gave us. We were really great at giving directions and following directions. Let's remember the words that we focused on in today's lesson were inside, on top, behind, next to, in front, and between. Thanks so much for joining us for today's lesson. We loved learning with you. We hope to see you next time. Bye.